Well, it's sort of evening now, about 7 o'clock, Monday evening. Uh, I had to clean my garage up today. That's what I done for the day. Uh, the girl's going to have a Halloween party on the uh, 28th, I believe, of this month. So, uh, I was told by her to, Dad, I need two bays, two bays, and get your junk covered. I said, what junk? She said, them motorcycles and stuff. Uh, it's all black right there. But there's a little light showing through. I told her I ain't doing it perfect. But uh, my bikes is behind that black drop cloth. Uh, and I got more cleaning to do. But, you know, everything's, I'm trying to get everything cleaned up for her. That staying, I don't care. I'm not going to unbolt it from the ground so she can move it. Uh, but look at this. How come the wife's still allowed to use the garage? And I'm kicked out. All my stuff, everything. I mean, uh, well, the only ones really to know would be Keith and Muzzle Mike. I'd say, let's step back here by the stove. So, you know. Where my uh, tire changer is there, and the uh, love seat and little rocker recliner was sitting in those positions, right there about where that's at. And from there on back, it was just full of, you know, everything. You couldn't walk through there. But now I move everything out, and She's got her table setting up, and I still got the ladder there. I got to do more work. Uh, but, you know, it's like, I lost a lot of garage. Everything's piled behind these curtains. Uh, like this curtain here is covering up stuff. I'm surprised she let me keep it there. But everything, I don't know. There's a light behind here or not. But, I mean, everything from the bed to my bikes to their bicycles to, I mean, you can't even walk into this place. You almost have to open the, I could do that. It's still kind of light out. Let me open up the uh, garage door over there and show you. Maybe you'll see a little better just how crowded I've got my little space and I was told you stay keep your junk back here so you know there you go now you can see there's their bicycles and of course I got the bed here got stuff on the bed mirrors and stuff and oh everything there's the uh, Yamaha and then over there's a grill and then the love seat and the uh, chair so where am I going to sit in the mornings I don't know then at the end is uh, three bikes, the Kawasaki Rebel and a yeah, Honda, or a <laughs> Honda, I wish it was, a Harley. But it's packed. It's packed there. Not only did I lose my garage space, but they also took my, my latrine, which... Here we have the latrine back with blood running down it. Well, it looks normal. And then we have the lid. Mm-hmm. You have to have something on the lid. I guess that person is supposed to be trying to crawl out of the toilet. Okie dokie. Whatever. But, yeah, I kind of... I'm losing everything again. Oh my land. But, you know, it's just it just doesn't pay to be the only man in a household. When they're all the rest of them are with I oh this. My uh, old workbench I used to use a lot, but it's just full of clutter now. I haven't cleaned it for a while. But it's got my levels on there and on this door it's got the 
tools hanging. And you know, I use swing it open and I got a workbench there. Well, it's cluttered, I gotta clean it up. But anyway, I was told, get something over that junk. It looks terrible. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's only my garage, that's all. But I guess not for the next couple weeks. So I got to get out here tomorrow and do some more cleaning. Hopefully after, well, no, tomorrow I'm busy. I'm putting in applications, take my mom to the doctor. And then possibly Wednesday, I'll get out here and finish this. But that's what I've done today, guys. Fun, fun, fun for everyone. So we'll catch you later. Thank you for watching my vids and... Uh, have a very nice tomorrow.